Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to enable update management on the virtual machine from the Azure portal. In the previous video we discussed about the theory about what update management is, what are the features, how updates are pulled from Microsoft to WSource or any uh, upstream update provider and how it gets installed on the Linux and Windows virtual machines within a span of uh, a few hours on the Linux virtual machines and uh, approximately 15 hours it is available as soon as the patch is released from the Microsoft update catalog. In here, um, we're going to enable the update management on the virtual machine from within the Azure portal. So let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. Okay, before starting this video, I was uh, I quickly deployed one virtual machine it is the deployment is still underway i selected the least size to save some cost on the bill while using azure resources for the labs that i am doing to make this videos so i'm going to pause the video and come back as soon as this machine is ready for me to take over the lab thank you okay the deployment is completed it took a lot of time today uh, no problem <clears throat> as we are onto the vm Okay. let's say you have multiple VMs in your subscription and you go to virtual machine section you click on here and let's say you select all I only have one but let's say you would have 10 so you will select all and you will click on this services tab you see here you get an option which says update management you can click on it it says enable update management and you get this screen let's say you are you want to only enable it only on one vm you go to your virtual machines and you click on your vm and you scroll down your left pane and you click this option under operations which says update management here it is operations you have option which says update management click on it then you get this option it says enable consistent control and compliance of this vm with update management this service is included with azure virtual machines and azure arc machines if you know want to know about azure arc you could you also have to browse through my earlier video i made it a few months ago so it says that we have to create this service requires a log analytics workspace and an automation account so i select uh, the workspace location as Central India. My would be to create a default workspace automation account. I have one which says if you do not have one, you can create one here. And if you have one, select it. But this uh, automation account would only be listed if that is present was created in this subscription in which my VM is. Like I have pay as you go subscription. Let's say you have multiple subscriptions and in that subscription you do not have an automation account then you would have to create a default or you can create an automation account before deploying the update management okay you click on enable here it's initializing the deployment you see here it says the update management solution is being enabled on this virtual machine this can take from a few minutes up to 15 minutes while this is in progress, we can take the opportunity to learn more about it. So you can go to Microsoft official documentation, learn more about it. And I'm going to pause this video and come back when this is done. Okay, it seems to be enabled now if you see. Uh, let me refresh it and see what other options I get. Okay, now if you, after enabling the Windows, uh, the update management on your uh, VM, if you see I am still under update management it says the machine has not been assessed yet if the machine was recently enabled for update management it will take few minutes before assessment data is reported so if the machine is stopped it will not report uh, it will not report any assessment for you it says update agent readiness not configured troubleshoot failed update deployments zero out of zero so there was nothing uh, assessed here so you see that it will take time 
but that is how you enable update enable update management from the azure portal on a vm i hope this was informative to all of you i'll see you guys in the next video please and if you have any queries please mention them in the comment section till next time have a good day bye bye